Hey friends, Daily Dub, Monday morning edition. I am in Auburn, Maine. I think Auburn is the name of the city I am. It's icy and snowy. I didn't sleep real good last night in the hotel. See the uh, sprinkler over my head. Nothing too interesting in the background. I'll try to change the view up this week. But uh, I got three people in a matter of a couple hours on the day on the Dub Life yesterday. Uh, let's see, it was Caden, Andy, and Mike Kelly from Orlando all asked me about what podcast I like to listen to, and I think I touched a little bit in that video, and I have in the past, but I'll go into a lot more detail today. That seems to be what people want to hear, so uh, let's talk about my favorite podcast, and then we'll talk about uh, kind of channel and stuff at the end. So, podcast is a big topic for me. Um, they, I listen to them extensively. I'm in the car. Anytime I drive to the airport, it's going to take me at least an hour. Typically, it's going to take me an hour and a half. Uh, so that's each way. And then I'm in the car a lot, the rental car driving. Uh, I'm in my hotel room a lot. I'm on planes a lot. And uh, I just like to listen to podcasts. Um, I am naturally a curious person. I like to learn about things that I don't already know. And so uh, I just take a fascination to that. So podcasts is a very good medium for me. Uh, several years ago, I heard Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary V, if you are familiar with him, talk about uh, attention arbitrage is the next concept for people to conquer using audio because in America people are busier than ever you know and, and that's probably true worldwide I, I can only speak to what our lifestyle is like and <clears throat> we're in the car more we're going places the subway the train whatever walking running exercising yoga whatever people are doing and they can't focus on a screen. It's hard to consume a YouTube video or a television show. People want to hear things so they can be doing something else. And podcasts have really blown up. I think he's been spot on on that as we are in a podcast renaissance. I've been listening to podcasts for, I can't remember not. I mean, like, obviously I haven't. But as long as I've had an iPod, like an iPod, the old click wheel one, and that's where podcasts came from that I can remember. I might have them. I can remember at least 10 years ago downloading podcasts off of iTunes, storing them on my iPod to listen to on a road trip. And some of the ones I'm going to talk about are, are those ones, some of those ones still. So uh, I've been doing it a long time. There is wonderful content, whether you want to be informed, whether you want to think about news or sports or topics of the day, whether you want a story, a long form happening over multiple episodes, it's a lot of options. So Let's get into kind of by genre, the podcast that I listen to. Um, so I do listen to a, a number of different wrestling podcasts. Most of them are historical, not modern. There are a few I listen to modern. My three favorite all come out of the world of Conrad Thompson. Um, if you are into wrestling podcasts, you know exactly who that is. But he hosts three, one with Bruce Pritchard called Something to Wrestle With. That That is looking back at when Bruce Pritchard was in his various roles with the WWE primarily late 80s, all of the 90s, early 2000s, and they just talk about whatever. Sometimes it's the rise of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Sometimes it's a certain pay-per-view. Sometimes it's Hulk Hogan's 1988, whatever. And it's uh, kind of behind the scenes. That's a good one. Then there is uh, What Happened When with Tony Schiavone, which started off as kind of a similar thing about WCW, but now that it's always watch-along, so you get on the WWE Network, they're going to watch... Starcade 1993, you watch it with them, they talk about what's happening, they also tell a lot of jokes, and that one's more silly. And then there's 83 Weeks with Eric Bischoff, which I think is my favorite of those, where Eric Bischoff, as you know, is the president of WCW in real life, like really was a network executive for Turner, and uh, they talk about the business of the rise and fall of WCW, the NWO, all that kind of stuff. That, that one, to me, is the most interesting. Uh, so those are the three wrestling ones that I would recommend if you like wrestling. Sports, I really only listen to one. That's Levitard, Dan Levitard show. I listen to that most days in podcast form. Um, at least part of it. My favorite days. I think everybody's favorite days to listen to that are Tuesday when Greg Cody's on. Um, Levitard's great. You can get caught up on sports without a lot of sports. He's not, he's humorous. He's closer to Howard Stern than he is your traditional ESPN. Um, he's not crude or anything. Uh, and he also is aware and, and challenges you to think about things you talk about. So I like the Levitard show. Uh, then we get into stuff that's much bigger for me. Things I listen to far more often. So crime podcasts. There's a lot of good true crime podcasts. Uh, Serial was really good. The season one of Serial is great. Season two, not as good. Season three is a little better. 
Uh, Serial is, they tell one story across a season. Um, season three, they spent a year in the Cleveland uh, courtroom. I told you what it's like there. Uh, so I recommend that. That comes from the people that uh, make This American Life. S-Town, which is kind of a spinoff of Serial, which has just been one season so far. It's kind of a, a look into a murder case in Alabama. It's also really good. Uh, Monster, which is in its second season. The first season was on in Alabama. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, in Atlanta. Uh, uh, um, crime spree. This season is about the Zodiac Killer. Very good. Uh, I just recent, recently finished Broken Hearts. Hearts, H-A-R-T-S. Which is about the, um, the couple with the kids that drove off a cliff in Washington, Seattle area. Uh, that's probably what I was talking about in the... Um, and the dub life yesterday is Broken Hearts. It's really good. Really good. I highly recommend that. That just ended. There are uh, uh, others I list too. There's also a thing called American Scandal, which my buddy Drew, Elusive Andrew, has just got me into. Um, which kind of looks at different things. So, like, it's talked about the the steroids trial of baseball. And Bal I think Balco, Iron Contra. There, there's different things. Seasons of that. All of those are good. Um, highly recommend. There's there's another one I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head that uh, where she's looking at an unsolved murder in Arkansas, also really good. So true crime I listen to a lot of uh, media, meaning um, TV, book, movie stuff. Most of the things I listen to come out of the Ringer podcast network. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, Bill Simmons, who is the guy that kind of brought Thirty for Thirty to life, or one of the main guys for ESPN, and has since started his own network of stuff. And uh, The Ringer is where his podcast feeds come from. And uh, they have a lot of good media stuff. So they have a show called The Recapables, where they are recapping an episode of television, active television, talking about it. Uh, right now they're doing True Detective. They do Westworld. They do Game of Thrones. Um, billions. Uh, a lot of the kind of premier K or, uh, pay cable shows they do. Uh, then they have a show called The Rewatchables, where it's a group of people and they go back and watch a movie. So they watch The Godfather and they talk about it and all the different things that you didn't know about it and whatever. I think that one's good. They have a show called The Watch. Um, the Watch is like an aggregate each week of like all the things that happen in, in good television each week and then uh, also movies. So it's kind of an all in one thing. And they have Binge Mode. Now, Binge Mode just finished with Harry Potter. What Binge Mode is, is they take a thing and they go back through all of it. We understand the word binge from Netflix, but they just consumed everything Harry Potter. All the books, all the movies, Fantastic Beasts, the play, all of it, across, I think, almost a year. And it's like, okay, next week we're going to cover these four chapters from these books. If you want to read them, then you can get on and we can have the podcast. Uh, they did it with Game of Thrones. They, they are rumored to be doing it with Lord of the Rings coming up, books. So, uh, highly recommend that. I know Victoria's had a wonderful time with that for Harry Potter. So, um, that's my media stuff. I know this is going on long, but I want to make sure I cover it all since a bunch of people asked. Uh, kind of the other category, uh, I listen to This American Life usually every week. This American Life is just stories of interest across Americana. Um, it's what spun off serial. Sometimes it's political. Sometimes it's like random restaurants in the middle of Idaho. It's just all kinds of stuff. I, I recommend that. Uh, Stuff You Should Know, which is a podcast I've listened to forever. That's one of the ones I mentioned, uh, the How Stuff Works network of stuff I've been listening to for at least 10 years. They have TV shows on Discovery Channel. But Stuff You Should Know is very thematic. So like just, uh, I think they, either today or tomorrow, they'll release uh, Stuff You Should Know about Valentine's Day. You know, they'll have thematic things that, you know, where it came from, what are some funny stories about Valentine's Day, what are some big historical moments, you know, Black Friday, whatever, all those different things. That's a good podcast to listen to. I listen to Gary Vaynerchuk, kind of motivational, um, aspirational type of stuff. I don't listen to him all the time, but I listen to him some. Uh, Oprah's Masterclass is really good. It's, uh, I would highly recommend going to listen to Oprah's Masterclass with The Rock, just listening to it, see if you like it. It is somebody that's considered a master, right? Like at the top of their field, just kind of talking about how they got there, their whole journey. That's a good one. And uh, and then Beautiful Anonymous is another one I listen to fairly regularly. Uh, it's Gethard hosts that, and he basically, you get a phone number, you can call in, and you can talk to about whatever you want to for one hour to him, and he's not allowed to hang up the phone. 
and you just talk. And so there's been times where a person's just walking around Walmart, grocery shopping, and they're talking about it. And then there's another time where a person may be coming out or something like that. Um, and that can just be fascinating. There was a whole episode about a person that poops their pants a lot. I'm not just saying that because I say poop a lot. Like, that's a real episode of that show. Sometimes it's funny. Sometimes it's very emotional. Sometimes it's, you know, boring even. I mean, it just depends on the host but that's it, or the guest. But that's, that's one to look into. For the hobby... There's not a lot out there. So I listened to King Zach and Justin's uh, Mitten Sealed Box podcast, which has really just started kicking up over the last several months. Uh, Josh was just on it an uh, episode or two ago. Josh Pence, you should check that out. Uh, I actually recorded with, with Zach last week, so I'll be on it here uh, shortly if you're interested in seeing that in the next week or two. Um, you know, and they do a good job. And I think that's called Figure Talk is that subset of that. And then they have the bigger picture where they're talking about six scale stuff. Things talking about 112th, I'm not familiar. I'm sure it's out there, but there's nothing that's widespread enough that I know about. Same for like Funko and things like that. There's just not a lot of uh, things that are big enough to, to be talked about. So if you have recommendations, please leave them below. All right. So uh, I know this is running long and I got to get ready to go to work. So a very quick update on the channel. Uh, I'm committing to this, doing this daily until we get to Saturday, every day this week. And Sunday, a new dub life will come out. That'll be February 17th. On that day, over it'll be February 17th, and across a 36-day period, you'll have gotten six dub life episodes, five dub life trailers, five live streams, unless I do even another one before then, and then 30 daily dubs. It'll be 46 videos. I think I looked at it. It's around 20, 20 to 22 hours of content over a 36-day period. Um, I wanted to do 30 daily dubs. Now, I know that I'm taking one day off a week when the, when the dub life which, uh, lifts, but I kind of want to do a month straight of daily uploads. That was my goal. So I'll have been to that goal, 46 videos in 36 days, which is more than the goal. Um, and it takes a lot of work. It's tiring. Uh, you have to stay on it. You don't get time off. And, um, you know, I'm honestly not sure if it's helped the channel or hurt the channel. My subscriber growth has dropped significantly. Um, from what it was doing, I, you know, I was getting four to five every day and now it's most days I don't get any, sometimes one or two. And that's a plateau, it's normal, right? I don't care about that that much. Um, but what I don't want is if I'm releasing daily, is that making people leave the channel because there's too many uploads. So I would like for you over these next few days, if you like daily dubs every day, tell me in the comments below. Um, go back and watch ones you haven't watched, please, and comment on those. Uh, and if it seems to be too much, then I'll just move to an abnormal schedule. So some weeks may have one or two daily dubs. Some weeks may have three or four, depending on if there's topics to talk about. I still have about eight questions to get to. So there's still some things I can review, but, uh, I don't want to flood you with too much stuff. And I know there's some of you that are going to say more, more, more. I can always take more. Uh, but I also have to balance out everybody and try to make sure everybody, and I don't want people to not watch the content that they enjoy because they feel like they're getting too much. So uh, just let me know. Um, I don't have a preference either way. Uh, it does take work to do these every day, but it's not the worst thing in the world. And a lot of times I'm just sitting in a hotel, so it's not a big deal. So please let me know what you think about daily dubs. Let me know what you think about the trailers. People don't watch the trailers, and I think they're good. I, I put a, a good amount of work into them. I think you'll like them. Um, you'll have a trailer coming out Wednesday for the Royal Rumble episode of Dub Life, which is Sunday, and I think you're going to love that trailer. So uh, anyway, I hope you have a good day, good Monday, good week this week, Valentine's Day week. Uh, I will talk to you again tomorrow. Squeeze it.